guys welcome to boxing blog center please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now let's go to the notification bell icon click it and select all okay so the rubbing banga new exclusive you definitely be notified so real david any the dream david any smacked rangas here um at their face of today they say a lot of crap to each other this fight is heating up really hard and it is fight week 20th of <clears throat> april this upcoming weekend these two guys right here these two guys that don't like each other one bit they fought each other a couple of times as amateurs and ryan garcia got the best of them any but ryan garcia took a different route um, he became a, an internet uh sensation um Dev Aini took the more traditional boxing route. But Ryan Garcia is a special fighter. Um, you don't lose all those zeal in the overnight. And I'm seeing people doubt and say, Oh, you sure this guy's ready? He's been acting very weird anyways. But, bruv, this is about to go down right here, man. It's getting really, really crazy. And then... Uh, there's this interview that rang us here um, and David Aini did I don't know what what rang us here was like was doing but he was just acting up in a way doing what I do all right looking nice okay come through I don't know if Ryan Garcia is taking a fight serious or not NGQ doing what I do all right, looking nice. Okay, come through. I don't know if Ryan Garcia is taking the fight serious or not. So we don't know what's going on. Is he taking the fight serious? Because he's been he's been acting very weird. But I do know there's maybe he's playing the the mind games, bro. Uh, Adewale, your your take on this fight right here with this weekend, it'll be it'll be crazy. I'll be in Germany, but I think I'll be back before the fight. Yeah, um, um, I think this is going to be an entertaining fight. Uh, the fight itself, the build up to the fight, has been entertaining to an extent. It's been controversial, you know. They they pushed some things a little too far, but at the end of the day, man, I think it's working. But at the same time, we are hearing rumors. I don't even need to say what I don't know, man. Anyways, the fight itself, um, I think Devinini should easily outbox Ryan Garcia. I think Garcia's only thing that threat that he presents is here. I think he's a power puncher. He has he definitely has a good left hook. Um, he can follow that with a right. Um, he's very, very quick, very, very fast. You know what Ryan brings to the table? Speed. So, um, he, with his speed, he can surprise Haney and cause damage. But from my own assessment, looking at Devin Haney's recent performances against Lomachenko, um, Pro Gray, um, the two fights um, against um, Cambosos, you know, he has been gradually stepping up with each competition. And I just feel like he's been getting better. Okay, arguably, Loma was the best competition, better than Regis. But Regis, too, presented his his threat, being the first time Haney was fighting in 140 pounds division against a champion. I mean, it's still a threat, but yes, Haney, to me, is is a solid favorite going into this fight he should easily outbox ryan garcia he's too slick excellent ring generalship footwork everything he brings everything to the table devin haney and ryan garcia too has some tools but all the antics building towards this fight i don't even think he's taking it as seriously as he should he definitely is taking it seriously, but he's not putting 100% into it. Because if you're putting 100% into a fight, 
we wouldn't be seeing you too many times on social media. You wouldn't have too many times to be communicating with everybody in all the interviews and Twitter spaces. It's not really making sense to me. That shows that you're not putting in as much dedication into this fight as you're supposed to. So I think Devin Haney is going to beat Ryan Garcia. I wouldn't be surprised if he stops Ryan Garcia because um, he put Regis progress down. He dropped progress. He might. I won't be surprised if he stops Garcia. That's my take on the on the fight. Thanks, bro. I don't understand you, but I don't see them any stopping Ryan Garcia, bro. Doesn't have the power to do that. David Haney is a very talented fighter. I've watched him closely. Skillful, one of the best. But the he lacks power, bro. I have to say that. Bro, let me quickly respond to that. Let me quickly respond to that. In his fight against Progre, I was rooting for Progre. And I was like, yo, I was telling the guys that, man, I hope Progre gets this one. That I know Devin is a better boxer, but Progre is tough and rugged and he comes forward and throws many punches and he should catch Devin because we've seen Devin wobble, you know, against L Linares and it took him time to recover. This guy was clinching throughout the next round. So the Devin has chinks in his armor too. But I was surprised he dropped Progre. So I wouldn't doubt that he can drop Ryan Garcia. I would zero doubt because I believe Progre has a better chin than Ryan. Mm, might be right though. So, Tajabwe, um, what do you make of this fight right here? I'm gonna be watching the fight. I'll be back. I'll be, I'll return to Germany in the evening. In the evening, I should be able to, I should be able to catch the fight. So, um, yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, yeah, well, well said, by Adewale. Uh, well said, well said. Okay, you know what? Devin Haney surprised me, um, especially what he. I, I'm a big fan of Regis. I'm a big, big fan. For for him to be able to do that to to that guy, the way he did it, it just shows that yeah, Devin Haney has been has been weight trained. You know, he has been toughing it out to where, you know, he drains himself and, you know, basically nutrition wise is not playing, playing again, uh, with him when it comes to fighting those fights. You know, people, everybody thought when he when he beat Lomachenko, it was just, you know, it was just the luck of the draw. He, he won't be able to do it again. But, bro, to be able to do that to a Regis, Regis is not no freaking uh, walk in the park. You know, he is rugged. He's a come forward fighter. Like, like I did while he said. For him to be able to do that says a lot. You know, Regis not a... It, I, I'm a big fan of Regis. He's not an A-class fighter. He's definitely a B-class fighter. You know, he's definitely up there. He could do some damage. For him to do that to Regis, it says a lot. You know, especially coming up to a weight class. Doing that shit says a lot. You know, and for me, I, I, at one point, I believe Ryan was uh, a decent, a good fighter. At some point, at some point, that's what I believe. But he just he just linked up. Bro, with, um, he beat the in the amateurs, I think twice, right? That this the amateurs are too big to the pros bro. It's not just for for someone to get the best of you in the amateurs. It means the person has an like a mental edge, like a mental edge over you. But it's just the difference between both fighters right now is that the Haney Bridge boxing. Why Ryan Garcia is um, I don't know. It, it well, seems like a. If I'm not mistaken, a, 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 a wants to be, six a, times. He wants to be a pop star or something. No, really, they fought but, six times in the amateurs, bro. Six times, and it was three three. Oh really? It was. Yeah, it was a yeah, draw. yeah. They fought so six the, times in the amateurs. So, so Ryan Garcia didn't doesn't have the the edge. Yeah. Yeah, but like it, this is the final one. This is this their seventh fight. In the yeah, pros, and this is going to be the it, pros. It, it, it does mean Ryan Garcia is not is not doesn't see any as a threat as I mean doesn't he doesn't it doesn't respect him if they fought six times, bro. Six times now, wow, bro. That's that that's a rivalry right there. That is a rivalry. That's a big rivalry so, right there. Six times, bro. Six. 
That's crazy. I mean, they <laughs> they must have loved uh, beating each other up in like in the amateurs. And they they should have they should have really played played on that, and they should have really played on that, and just not let really uh, Ryan, Ryan Garcia um, really try to build up the fight because as of right now, it's kind of looking stupid. I'm gonna be honest, it's looking really stupid. But uh, personally, <laughs> personally, okay. The only reason I'm going, I'm going for Haney to beat Ryan Garcia and to possibly stop Ryan Garcia. Uh, Ryan Garcia is one. Ryan Garcia just started with Derek James. Everybody knows when you start with a new trainer, you at least get a warm up fight and you know to get your to get to get your blood flowing to see how you work with this coach. You know, granted he's still with I think uh, ex trainer Joe Goose and is still with him, but at the same time Ryan Garcia came from a loss off of. Uh, off of uh, um, Javante Tank Davis, and that, that kind of loss, you know, against a fighter like that, you really gotta, you have to take another, uh, another fight before you fight Devin Haney. Personally, that's what I personally believe. But he didn't do that. He's jumping right away, and he's talking a whole, a whole bunch of crazy mess. No, you know, no, bro. He had a fight. He had a fight after Tank. Did he really? Damn, I can't yeah, really yeah, yeah. remember that fight. Did he really? <laughs> yeah, he did. And he and he got a KO too. He got a KO a knockout. Really? Oh yeah. man, I, I I don't I don't remember that fight. That's crazy. Okay, 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 okay. My my uh my let me let let me retract back. Okay, so it's not he got the fight. He got a warm up against before the uh, Devin Haney fight. Okay, let's just say um with Joe Goosen still in the mix and Derek James, I do believe um it's it, uh Devin Haney's gonna have a much tougher fight. I don't know what uh, um, Derek James has been uh, really teaching Ryan, but I know for a fact Ryan, uh, Ryan Garcia is. If, if Devin Haney does not come in there saying I'm gonna really, really, I, I gotta beat the shit out of this guy, not just because I think he's the clown, no, to say I'm taking him serious. If Devin Haney goes in there not taking Ryan Garcia serious, he's gonna get hurt because mm. I feel like Ryan Garcia is playing that. That mental games trying to show, oh, I'm not kind of concentrating in fighting I'm in camp. It's the fight is not on my mind. I'm I'm elsewhere talking about crap. That doesn't that does not has that has nothing to do with boxing. But if you look at it, that kid right now, if you look the way his body is, the kid looks in shape. Ryan Garcia looks in shape. He looks in really good shape. You know, so if I was Devin Haney, I'm gonna go in there as that mentality. I gotta take this guy out because I know he can hurt me anytime. If he wants to, that's the mentality. Uh, Devin Haney has to go in there. Ryan Garcia has, still has that nasty left hook. Uh, was it was it a right hook? Or, I can't remember which hook is it. But he definitely has that that speed again. Uh, that speed that can hurt if uh, if, um, uh, if if he doesn't pay attention. You know what? Thanks for reminding me of that. Well, yes, I remember that fight. Ryan Garcia was trying to do some Floyd Mayweather shit. That think that didn't mm. work out. You know, now I remember <laughs> that fight. <laughs> So, you know, but at the same time, I don't know why he was doing that, but maybe he's trying to work on something new. They're trying to test him out. You never know. But I do believe, I still do believe uh, Devin Haney should take him very serious because if he doesn't, I guarantee you Devin Haney is going to lose that fight. You know, lock of the draw, but if I might even end in a draw, you know, last minute. These guys, I think, is a, is a rivalry that's been happening since the amateurs, you know, and well built up into the pros. I think it's going to be a good fight. I'm just mad they didn't really... They didn't market this fight correctly. I don't. I between these two trainers, between his dad, well, yeah, Devin Haney, and his dad has have uh, have have been having uh, great success. But at the same time, listen to sell out of to to make this fight marketable, you got to give it to the professionals to at least make it marketable, and then you can learn and work your way around it in the next fight. But against. To have, to have a rivalry like uh, Ryan Garcia and not and not have this not have this fight market the way it's supposed to because I'm hearing the ticket sales is not good. It they should be kind of be pissed off about that. Personally, that's what I think. You know, because they said the ticket sales are low. I don't know why because I think these two fighters are decent fighters or at least good fighters, and we're, we're going to see much much to come from both of them. But at the same time, like I said, I do believe uh, Devin Haney should not be taking Ryan Garcia lightly, and vice versa. I think Ryan Garcia knows who's who's in front of him and what he needs to do. That's why I'm gonna end it. Sounds, but I appreciate your take on this, guys. You've heard it from our brothers at Dewali, and of course, Taya Jagwe. Stay tuned for more exclusive bangers, and uh, keep supporting the channel. 
God bless each and every one of you. Just I can spend my time with you. I just fly with you. For the telephone.